Ryan Seacrest failed to name Pat Sajak in his first comments after taking over as Wheel of Fortune's host. Ryan, 49, finally appeared as presenter of the beloved game show alongside Vanna White, after weeks of anticipation, on Monday night, September 9. In his opening address, Ryan did not mention Pat, 77, who stepped down as WEF's host last June, after a run that lasted over 40 years. During Monday night's episode, Ryan walked onto the brand new WEF set with Vanna, as Jim Thornton announced his debut. And now together for the first time, here are the stars of our show, Ryan Seacrest and Vanna White, he said, during the season 42 premiere. As Vanna stood by the puzzle board, Ryan addressed the audience by saying, I still can't believe my luck of being here with you tonight to continue this legacy of this incredible show with all of you. And of course, my good friend Vanna White, he continued, before thanking the show's fans for a very warm welcome. During his monologue, Ryan described hosting WEF as a dream job, adding, I've been a fan of the show since I was a kid watching it in Atlanta with my family. And I just know how special it is that Will has been in your living rooms for the past 40 years, the American Idol star said. And I'm just so grateful to be invited in. While noting that he had some very big shoes to fill, Ryan didn't acknowledge Pat by his name, before he concluded, so, let's play WEF. Some viewers expressed their disappointment on the show's Instagram account, with one person calling Ryan's opening address a slap in the face under a clip of the monologue. That's all he could say he has big shoes to fill, they wrote. Couldn't mention Pat's name and thank him for all the years making Wheel what it is? That's a slap in the face. However, others defended Ryan for tastefully paying tribute to the legendary presenter. Pat doesn't need another pat on the say Jack, another person replied to the comment. Ryan didn't overlook it, he did just right. Everyone knew whose big shoes he was referring. I thought it was tastefully done without overdoing it. No doubt in my mind Ryan ran that thought past those closest, they added. Pat, who bid his final goodbye to fans end September 6, did not mention Ryan's debut in the statement shared on X. Ryan previously paid tribute to Pat, after it was announced he would be taking over the reins at WEF in June 2023. He said, I'm truly humbled to be stepping into the footsteps of the legendary Pat Sajic. Pat, I love the way you've always celebrated the contestants and made viewers at home feel at ease. I look forward to learning everything I can from you during this transition, he continued. Ryan's WEF ERA Ryan's perceived snub comes after the U.S. Sun exclusively revealed he wasn't Pat's choice to replace him as the host of WEF. A studio source said, Ryan wasn't Pat's choice to replace him and Pat deliberately stayed out of that process. Ryan was extremely smart when he took the job to be utterly respectful to Pat at every turn, they continued. Ryan did not want there to be even an ounce of tension between them. Ryan acts like he has Pat's support and for now, that helps him, Ryan, enjoy this honeymoon period, where the fans are going to decide if he's a good fit for the show. But it could certainly be a different story a year from now, especially if there's erosion in the ratings, the Sony source added. Awful set. Last night's episode of Wheel of Fortune marked the beginning of Ryan's era, but the season premiere drew mixed reactions from fans on social media. One of the biggest complaints they had was that WF's newly revamped set was too busy and, ultimately, why does the new set look like some old-fashioned clock factory with animated mice crawling around, another comment read. Ryan did great, one fan began, before adding, bring the traditional set back, or one that isn't so distracting slash painful to the eyes. I realize I sound old lol. He did great but that set is dizzying and distracting and just awful, a similar comment was posted on the show's Instagram page. As the sun dipped below the horizon on a crisp fall evening, excitement electrified the air in Hollywood. It was the season premiere of Wheel of Fortune, a beloved television institution that had graced screens for over four decades. Fans eagerly anticipated the new era with Ryan Seacrest stepping into the iconic hosting role, but the occasion was marred by an unexpected tension the palpable rift between Seacrest and the former host, Pat Sajic. The stage was set in the vibrant studio adorned with the familiar spinning wheel and bright lights. The audience buzzed with enthusiasm, clutching their tickets with anticipation. 
but as the cameras rolled, it was evident that this premiere would not just be about the games and contestants, it was going to spotlight a clash of personalities that had been simmering beneath the surface. Seacrest entered the stage with his signature charm, flashing a winning smile as he greeted the live audience. Welcome to the new season of Wheel of Fortune. I'm Ryan Seacrest, and I can't wait to take you on this exciting journey. His enthusiasm was contagious, yet the moment felt strangely hollow. Behind the scenes, whispers circulated about the dynamics of this hosting transition and the feelings of those involved. As Seacrest engaged with contestants, the cameras caught glimpses of Sajik in the audience. The beloved host, who had been a fixture of the show for 40 years, watched the proceedings with a mixture of pride and disappointment. He had initially planned to be part of this momentous night, believing that it would be a shared celebration of the show's legacy. However, as the new host took center stage, Sajik felt the sting of being sidelined. In a surprising twist, Seacrest had not reached out to Sajik for advice or support before the premiere. Instead, he had chosen to keep the former host at arm's length, citing a desire to establish his own identity in the role. This decision did not go unnoticed, fueling a media frenzy that quickly shifted the focus from the show's contestants to the underlying feud between the two TV personalities. The first segment of the show proceeded as planned. Contestants spun the wheel, racked up winnings, and showcased their skills in solving word puzzles. But the playful banter that once flowed so effortlessly between Sajik and the contestants seemed strained in Seacrest's exchanges. The energy felt different, there was an underlying tension that simmered just below the surface. As the game progressed, a commercial break arrived, offering a moment of respite for the crew and a chance for the hosts to regroup. During this time, whispers spread through the production team about Seacrest's decision to exclude Sajik from any formal acknowledgement on air. There were murmurs of concern, questioning whether this premiere would ultimately tarnish the show's legacy rather than ushering in a new era. Returning from the break, Seacrest attempted to lighten the mood with a scripted segment featuring celebrity guests who had come to lend their support. Among them was former contestant Vanna White, who had been by Sajik's side for years. As the camera panned to her, the audience erupted in applause, but her eyes held a hint of sadness as she glanced at the empty chair that had once belonged to Sajik. 